Hello and welcome to Atheism versus Logic. I hope you're having a good day. And I want to talk about Pascal's wager uh, because I don't think it fits into uh, true Christianity. Of course, there's a lot of fake Christianity. I would argue there's more fake Christians than real Christians uh, because there's more people who haven't studied um, and been obsessed with the New Testament, which is the Word of God, which is to be obsessed with God. You know, many people are just Christians because maybe they grew up that way. Or, you know, it's, it's uh, social pressure, it's just what you do. Uh, but there are less people who just really love Jesus and they, they want to please him. And so they study his word to try to please him. And so Pascal's wager is, is arguing that someone should believe in God because it makes, um, it, it just makes more sense because if you're wrong, um, you didn't really uh, lose anything in this life and you gain an eternity of happiness. Uh, but if you don't believe in God, then, um, you know, the the outcome is horrible because you can get an eternity of of torment or or at uh, at best uh, you have to spend eternity knowing that you, you rejected this um, this eternal happiness. And the problem with Pascal's wager is that one part where it says believing in God if you're wrong, it costs you nothing. Uh, this is where it is totally wrong and against Christianity. Uh, because Christianity teaches that we are to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow Jesus. Uh, the Apostle Paul, who, who God chose to write most of the New Testament, he said it this way, if, if Jesus didn't rise from the dead, then we among mo uh, all people are to be most pitied. Uh, because if you study the life of Paul, uh, he was repeatedly put in prison. He was in shipwrecks. He was beaten. Uh, he was eventually killed for his faith in Jesus Christ. And so you'll see that a real Christian um, it costs them things to live for Christ. It costs me things. I, I spend so many um, hours a day um, you know, studying the Bible, teaching on the Bible, and studying uh, you know, biology and teaching, trying to help atheists see that they were created. I'm making a lot of people mad uh, because of my stances that I'm, I'm doing for Jesus because I'm trying to lead as many people to Jesus as possible. And if Jesus is not who he says he is, if Jesus isn't God, if Jesus didn't die and rise from the dead, uh, then, then I am wasting a lot of my time. I'm hurting a lot of people. Um, I'm, I'm losing relationships for nothing. So, so, uh, yeah, I don't think Pascal's wager fits in with real Christianity, real discipleship, real following of Jesus, because to really follow Jesus costs people something. Um, you know, Jesus said, if the world hated me, it's going to hate you. And so we are hated we should be hated, you know, the, um, by being followers of Jesus Christ. That doesn't mean we, we try to do things just to be hated, but, but by following Jesus and trying to minister to others, um, it, uh, you know, it'll cause people to, to hate us because our message is very harsh to some people to say that they were born disconnected from God and they've got to be reconnected to God through Jesus Christ alone. Uh, then the other thing is that Jesus said that, you know, he would rather us be hot or cold, but he doesn't like lukewarm. And I think Pascal's wager uh, produces lukewarm Christians, people who who are just saying and believing this, this really um, flippant belief in Jesus um, as kind of fire insurance, hell insurance. Uh, and Jesus doesn't like that. Jesus, you know, I, I think, you know, atheist, you know, hats off to you guys. At least you're real, you know. I mean, God doesn't want us to be a liar. So so by you guys not believing in Jesus and admitting it and uh, and just, uh, you know, being against, you know, any kind of God. And, uh, you know, it, it, Jesus was saying, I'd rather you, you, be, you be on fire for me or just completely cold against me. But he doesn't like this lukewarm. So, so I believe atheist in many ways are seen uh, better by Christ than, than someone who claims to be a Christian, claims to follow Jesus, but they're not really following Jesus. They're just, you know, they just say they believe in Jesus. They're not trying to please him. They're not studying his word. They're not, they're not hungering to know him more and, and to please him. So, so hats off to you guys. Um, I, I do hope that you believe in God. I mean, you should believe in God by studying proteins. They're amazing mechanisms, and they work together. I told you that. They have to be programmed. Uh, and then I hope you believe in Jesus by reading his parables, by by understanding, like, wow, this he, he knows what he's talking about. Clearly, Jesus is the Son of God. 
So, so anyway, that's Pascal's Wager versus Christianity or versus real Christianity, and I don't think it meshes. Uh, the main points of this is that real Christianity should cost the follower of Jesus something. It's, um, it's very offensive to others. Look at the life of Paul. And then, of course, you know, Jesus would rather us be hot or cold, he said. He doesn't like this lukewarm Christian, this lukewarm Christianity that's kind of eh about Jesus. And, and I really think that's what Pascal's Wager produces. So don't be like that. Either be on fire for Christ or be totally cold toward him. But this in-between stuff is not good.